Oh, hey, didn't see you there. All right, guys, so a couple tips <laughs> for when doing any uh, lateral raise stuff. Uh, tip number one is probably my most hated tip, hated by people that I give it to, is do them seated. Um, people uh, realize right away that, why do I say that? Is because most people doing any type of raise are involving every single muscle in their body to some degree. And people say, man, I don't like to do my lateral raises seated. And I say, well, why not? Because we'll I have to do so much less weight. I'm like, that's correct. You have to do so much less weight, but your delts certainly aren't doing any less weight. So again, just the sheer fact that that's your little form check. Sit down and see if you can do the same amount of weight with any type of raise as you can do standing. If your weight is cut down, then you know you were just cheating before using your back, using your hips, using your legs. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is use cables. Um, they're better than dumbbells. There, I said it, for raises in every way, shape, or form. Uh, the funny thing is even some science, evidence-based people will talk about how important it is to load muscles in their length and position, which for pure semantic reasons just happens to work out that way for a lot of free weight exercises, um, like squat patterns and things like that. For raises, not so much. Again, unless you're lying on your side, which is a different conversation. If you're just doing normal raises, they are completely wasting the entire range of motion until you get to the top where you're overloading the position where one, your delts are the weakest, and then two, arguably you have the least opportunity for growth. At the bottom where your delts are strongest and arguably have the most opportunity for growth, there's literally zero joint torque zero challenge to the delts. So again, if we're gonna apply some principles, let's apply them consistently all across the body and realize that again, on paper, all of this is a waste. It's only a challenge in this one position, which again, again, if we're looking at one exercise to train a muscle, it's really a waste in that context. If you're gonna use two, you wanna overload this position fine and then do something else for the length and maybe we'll do that. But if you set up cables properly, like I did here, then I can make it pretty much the heaviest here and through the mid range. And as you see that cable gets closer to my shoulder joint and drops off as we get into that position, much more closely matching what my body can do. And before you ask, you super nerds out there, my back didn't touch the bench here. I was actually just using this to sit as a reference point to stay still. Because if we know something for sure is if your back ever touches a bench, your shoulder blades, shoulder blades break and they fall right off of your body. Uh, it makes sense if you just don't think about it. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully that tip helps somebody sit down, use some cables, don't ever let your shoulder blades touch a bench because uh, again, for actually no real evidence or logic or thought process um, or anything that makes any sense, it'll break, break your shoulder blades right off your body. So don't ever do it. Don't even, don't even get your shoulder blades near a bench just to be safe.